Hello S1, welcome back to school. It's really lovely to have you all here um, and what we're going to be doing today is just talking a little bit about your S1 personal writing. So we're going to be doing a literacy starter, we will be doing a little bit of reading for pleasure and also a bit of personal writing as well. Those are things that we're going to be doing um, over the next few lessons. So as we say, we're doing a little bit of S1 personal writing and this is something that we started before the holidays. So just to give you a little bit of a reminder of what we've covered so far. Before the Easter break, you were working on your lockdown diaries. We talked a little bit about imagery as well, so similes, metaphors and personification. We did a little bit of work on show don't tell and one of the last things we did was we wrote some epic tales as well, where we took an ordinary moment in our day and we tried to make it sound as intense and as epic as we possibly could. So these are all skills and techniques that you're going to be using now as we go on to write our personal essays. So what exactly is a personal essay? Well, it's an extended piece of writing it's going to be somewhere between three and 500 words, depending on what level you're working at. It will be written from your personal point of view. It will be full of your thoughts, opinions and emotions. It should focus on something that has happened to you. You can use a little bit of artistic license so you can think a little bit about your epic tales and make things a little bit more exciting if you'd like to. And it's also going to be following um, an appropriate structure for a personal essay as well. So as we say, this piece of writing is going to be all about you. So we've got two different example paragraphs on the screen just now. Um, one is quite short and the other is a little bit longer. So the first one says, One day during lockdown, I met up with my friends in the park. It was such a great day. We had an amazing time just hanging out. We then decided to go into town, but there was nothing to do. We started to all get quite bored and then the rain came on. So we head, we ran back towards the park. Okay, that's fine. But really what we'd like you to do is really draw out your experience and make sure that you're including lots of your own thoughts and feelings as well. So that's really what that first paragraph is missing. So you could say something similar but make it a bit more interesting, include your thoughts and feelings and then it'll look a little bit more like the paragraph on the right hand side. So that one says, one day during lockdown I met up with my friends at the park. I couldn't stop smiling when I saw them. It had been so long I really miss my friends and using FaceTime just isn't the same. There's always this invisible barrier between us. When my best friend Suzanne suggested going into town, I hesitated. What would be the point? Was there anything to do there? I was right. Ten minutes later and my shoulders were slumped and I had stopped smiling. It's far too boring when nothing is open. It's like a ghost town. So you can see that the second paragraph is a lot more interesting and that's what we're aiming for in our personal essays. Okay, so here's what we're going to be writing about. So it says, write a personal essay about a day you had in lockdown. Think about a day where you felt a strong emotion like frustration, anger, sadness or joy. Cover the whole day and end by reflecting on why you felt that way and what lessons you have learned. And here we're talking about the structure, so how we'd like you to lay out this essay. So the beginning, middle and the end. So here's a wee example structure um, to help you think about how to plan your own piece of writing. So the first paragraph is the introduction. So you're going to describe... Um, what lockdown is and how you felt when you were told that this was something that was going to be happening. Paragraph two, you might talk about um, the morning routine of your day. So you're going to start at the beginning, 
I'm going to talk us through what you did in the morning and describe the setting in plenty of detail. Paragraph three, you're going to describe how you were feeling before the emotional thing happened. So remember, you're, you're choosing a day here where something emotional has happened to you. So in paragraph three, you need to tell us how you happened before you got to this emotional event. So you're trying to build up to it. Paragraph four, you're going to describe what the event was. So what happened? How did you react? How did everybody else react? Paragraph five, you'll tell us um, in detail about your emotions and your reactions. So how did you feel? What did you think about this thing that had happened? And in your conclusion, you're going to explain what happened afterwards. And then you're going to think back and you're going to reflect on how you felt at the time and how you feel about that thing now. So here's your task for today. You're going to complete a plan for your personal essay in OneNote. And you should remember to note down your thoughts, feelings and emotions. You might want to look back at your lockdown diary to help you where you've been making notes. So we're completing a plan and you need to make sure that you include thoughts, feelings and emotions. So we're going to do that now.